Massive ice sheets at the top and bottom of our planet are shrinking much faster than previously thought. The vast ice sheets of Greenland have long been regarded as a natural wonder and a critical component of our planet's climate system. However, in recent decades, the alarming rate of ice loss from this Arctic region has sparked concern among scientists worldwide. The melting ice is contributing significantly to rising sea levels, which poses a profound threat not only to low-lying coastal communities, but to the entire global population. What are the true causes of the melting ice in Greenland? What impact will they have on our future? In this video, we'll uncover the answers and provide you the most recent information on Greenland. More than halfway through the 2023 melting season, for the majority of the season, melting has been above average with certain days in June and July seeing melt across eight lakes square kilometers, up to 50% of the surface of the Greenland ice sheet. Over the past two decades, there has been a sharp increase in global ice loss, and experts continue to underestimate the potential rise in sea level. Ice losses have increased dramatically, from around 760 billion tons per year in the 1990s to more than 1.2 trillion tons per year in the 2010 from the mile-thick mantle of the polar ice sheets to the thin ice layer covering much of the Arctic Ocean. This is an increase of more than 60%, or 28 trillion tons of melted ice overall. It also indicates that only around 3% of the additional energy trapped by climate change within the Earth's system has gone towards melting ice. It might be worse than we anticipated as the Greenland ice sheets melt. According to a recent study, the ice sheets may be significantly more sensitive to climate change caused by humans than previously thought. Sea level rise would be significantly impacted by this. According to the scientists, if the Greenland ice sheet were to completely melt and the meltwater were to completely flow into the ocean, then global sea level would rise by about 7 meters. The ocean would cover all the coastal cities, and land area would shrink significantly. Earth would rotate more slowly, with the length of the day becoming longer than it is today, by about 2 milliseconds. Even if just a small section of the Greenland ice sheet melts, with estimates suggesting the current sea rise will most likely increase by tens of feet or meters, looking at the coast, a large number of urban areas and beach people would be at risk. The improvement of Amsterdam, Boston, Miami and New York City is much needed. Take a look at Africa and India. These regions have the majority of the world's population. The ice sheet covering Greenland is nearly 3.2 kilometers thick and covers an area three times the size of Texas. And in the distant past, it has already shrinked. The ice sheet melted between 3,74,000 years ago due to mild warming, resulting in a dramatic five-foot rise in sea level. Extreme rainfall from atmospheric rivers, along with a vast network of previously undetected microcracks, could degrade significant portions of the Greenland ice sheet more quickly than anticipated and hasten melting towards worst-case projections for ice loss. By analyzing the luminescence signal of sand and rock particles to determine when they were last exposed to sunlight, the researchers were able to demonstrate that the region had no trace of ice at that time. The deposits were found at the bottom of a deep ice core that was drilled at Camp Century in northwest Greenland, more than 100 miles inside, only 800 miles from the North Pole, and where the ice is nearly a mile thick. The site where the ice core was obtained could only have been free of ice if other sizable portions of Greenland were also ice-free at the same period, according to ice sheet modeling. The findings provide clear evidence that the area thawed during that warm interglacial phase, indicating that the ice sheet is susceptible to a slight rise in global temperature if the warmth is maintained for an extended period of time. The ice core was taken during a secret missions by the U.S. Army in the 1960s at Camp Century in northwest Greenland, drilling through more than 4,500 feet of ice. A 12-foot tube of soil and rock was found beneath the ice by the mission, and later lost in a freezer. Thankfully, the sample was rediscovered in 2017. Upon closer examination, 
researchers discovered that the cord material contained moss and leaves in addition to rock and dirt. The possibility of a boreal forest and possibly an ice-free terrain in Greenland's recent geological history were suggested by the plant material. Scientists weren't sure when the ice sheet melted, but ancient flora indicated that it did so at some point in the past million years of Earth's history. The team created a dramatic picture that suggests that vast portions of Greenland melted much more recently than a million years ago using cutting-edge luminescence technology and the analysis of rare forms of chemical elements with different atomic compositions called isotope. The time span, known as Marine Isotope Stage 11, ranged between four lake 24,000 years ago. There was a lengthy interglacial period during which the temperature was comparable to or somewhat higher than it is now. According to this finding, Greenland's ice is significantly more vulnerable to warming than was previously thought. It also implies the possibility of ice melting completely. A warm, rainy, and largely ice-free future for planet Earth is predicted by Greenland's past, which is preserved in 12 feet of frozen soil, unless we can significantly reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The researchers looked into a luminescence signal that appears in the sample as a result of trapped electrons when materials are buried. Sand and rock fragments are moved by water and wind, where they are exposed to sunlight, which resets the luminescence signal. Because of this procedure, it is possible to use the quantity of captured electrons as a crude clock to determine when the sediments were last exposed to the sun. The plant material in the sample would also have required that light. The changes are a result of the region's transition to summer weather in late June, which brought with it an increase in temperature. Peaks in the daily melt area have remained below those of 2012, a year with particularly extensive melting so far in Greenland's 2023 melting season. However, daily melt extents have been persistently higher than the 1981 to 2010 average as of mid-July and 2023 is comparable to a number of other high melt years in recent decades. According to glaciologist Christopher Schumann of the University of Maryland, the previous exceptional melt in 2012 might not be surpassed this year. But thus far, 2023 appears to be a year with a large, broad melt. Ice loss is a continuous process that cannot be stopped. Because we humans have a hand on the climate control dial, our choices will have the biggest impact on how long the Greenland ice cap lasts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.